This is a video of one of the recorded sessions I did for one of my Blackboard courses. Now I was able to upload this video to YouTube so that I could insert it just as an element right into the course here so students can simply click play without having to click any outside links. To do this I needed to convert the Illuminate recording into an MP4 format which I can either embed directly into the course or upload to a video hosting service like SchoolTube or YouTube so that I can embed it into my class. So to do this I need to use a tool called Collaborate or Illuminate Publish. I'm going to go ahead and launch this tool and I am prompted to put in the address of my recording. So I need to again go back to Blackboard. Here is that recording from the session and I added this just like I, I would a typical Illuminate or Collaborate session. I went to the Add Interactive tool, chose Illuminate Live, and then instead of adding a live session, I used the drop down to search for recorded sessions from a given day. And here I could see the recording, the date I did it. And to add that to my Blackboard course, I just clicked the add link. Once your recording is in your Blackboard session, you can direct users to it this way. But again, I want to make it more portable and easier to and easier to access for my students or my learners so I want to go ahead and embed that video right in so I'm going to go and convert it using publish. Now the trick when using publish is to get the right link and you're looking for a link that starts with sas.illuminate so I'm going to go ahead and drill down into this item that Blackboard added for me that links to my recording I'm going to hover over this first link play. Now I can see down at the bottom of the screen when I hover over this link that it is a Blackboard link. The link starts with blackboard.jeffco.k12. So this isn't the right link. I'm going to go ahead and click on this item and see what comes up next. Now this is where you really have to be quick. You'll right click and copy the link very quickly. As soon as I hover over the play recording link, it's going to launch my recording. So I'm going to right click over this and I'm going to copy the link address. At this time my session's probably going to launch that recording, which is okay. I'm just going to go ahead and and cancel it and close it down, but what's important is that I have my link. Now I'm going to go back over to Publish and I'm going to paste in this link. And I know I have the right link because it starts with sas.illuminate.com and if I didn't, at this point Publish is going to start preparing it. It'll run through some steps where it's checking the SSL certificate and copying it to the local system so that it can do what it needs to do. At this point, you just need to wait until all the pop-up windows disappear. Okay, once my link has been accepted into Publish, now all of these other tools become active so I can decide what I want to do. If I want to create only an audio file, then I would uncheck the multimedia tab. But I do want to just create a, a typical recording uh, and I want to be able to upload this to some kind of video hosting service, either YouTube or SchoolTube or something of that nature. And so generally I will always go with the defaults. So this H.264 format you can change. You could change it to an AVI or a WMV or a movie. This is an industry standard MP4 format that's compressed. This MP4 down below here is not compressed and generally this is what we what is considered industry standard and I'm going to go ahead and go with that. However, if you're using Movie Maker and you plan to do some video editing, you want to make sure that maybe you choose, depending on your version of Movie Maker, a WMV or an AVI file because not all versions of Movie Maker will support the, the MP4s for editing. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the MP4 format because I know my video editing program does support that. And I'm going to leave everything else set up. I am going to uncheck. Um, I don't in my session, so I'm just going to uncheck those boxes and leave everything else set as is and click the convert button. Next I'm prompted to ask where I would like to save my converted files. So I'm going to give it a descriptive name and for the purpose of this demo I'm just going to put it on my desktop and click the convert button. You'll see progress bars along the bottom and you just need to sit tight. This can take anywhere from a few minutes to several minutes, so maybe go grab a cup of coffee. While my file was converting, I noticed at the bottom of my screen that 
my Collaborate session recording did open. It has closed by itself. Again, this is just part of Publish doing the converting process. Once finished, you'll be prompted with this message. And you can say yes or no. Basically, it's telling you it's finished. You want to view your converted files. I'm going to minimize Publish and go to my desktop and find my two recordings. There's two different video files that Publish will create for me. One is this Java-based jar file. And this is a exact replica of what my typical recorded session looks like. When I double click on the jar file it opens what looks like a typical Blackboard Collaborate recording. I have it paused but you can see the Blackboard Collaborate classroom, participants, and chat window. So it functions just like a typical recorded session except I can take this file with me on my computer to maybe a location where I won't have internet access. When I double click the MP4 format, Windows Media Player is launched and you can see I have a video screen with just what appears on my whiteboard. The Blackboard Collaborate tools, participants, and other items that are included are not visible. So I have a very clean interface of just the whiteboard and any content that I display over the whiteboard like multimedia files. So some teachers prefer this format. You can upload an MP4, WMV, AVI, and similar files up to YouTube and you can then embed these files into your class with YouTube or SchoolTube. It just makes for a really nice clean interface. This format I can also put into a video editing program where I can edit out parts maybe that were goofs or parts that maybe I want to change or simply just delete some of the silence at the beginning or end of the session. So that is Illuminate Publish, just a very handy tool that will enable you to take your Collaborate recordings and turn them into video files that are much more portable and more editable if that is what you need.